everybody, welcome into another episode of Arsenal Fan Circle. Today I wanted to talk about uh, the uncertainty in the transfer market and we are in a very, very difficult period right now. Yes, the kit has been launched, uh, but there's nothing really happening in terms of signings. Um, the fee has been agreed for Tierney, so I do expect that one to get over the line pretty soon in the next few days. But the latest news is that we're chasing uh, Wilfred Zaha. Now, this is a player who is decent, can add something to our team. He's tricky. He can um, tempt defenders into tackles, which is going to result in penalties uh, for us, potentially. But at the price that's been quoted at 80 million, I am not tempted, and I don't think Arsenal should be tempted. They have bid uh, 40 million right now. I mean, if we get them for around 50 million, then we should do business. But uh, why isn't that money going into a search for a central defender? That is really the position uh, that we need filling right now. We don't really need to be looking at a winger. And it is so, so Arsenal to be doing that right now, uh, chasing Wilfred Zaha. Um, we really need to spend that money wisely and let's spend a big on a central defender that is going to add depth to our team he may actually start from the beginning uh, and alongside Socrates and Holding we can have a decent set of central defenders who can rotate through the season um, unlikely that Holding and Bellerin will hold up for the whole season as well due to their injuries that they're recovering from right now. Uh, we do need to get Tierney in. He is a tenacious player, a winner, and that will secure our left back position because we don't really see any young players coming through the academy that's going to fill out the left side. We really need to get Tierney in. Uh, Bellerin on the right hand side. We're not going to be able to start the season with Bellerin, so we do need to address a right back situation. Would not like to have Ainsley Maitland Miles in there. Um, last season he quitted himself quite well, but it is very, very obvious he's not a specialist right back, and we can't go down that road again starting the season. Uh, way to Newcastle will be tricky. We would love to get a win away from home to start our season off well. Uh, would set the tone for our away days and our away form for the rest of the season. Uh, we're going to have difficult, the second away game is difficult uh, with Liverpool and Anfield. Um, so we really need to get our back four in position. And I would not mind starting uh, right now with Bellerin, Socrates, Holding, and Tierney, but obviously they are not going to be able to start the season, especially Bellerin. So, the money that we're using to chase Wilfred Zaha, can we please, please go after a centre back uh, that has some standing? I do understand why they're chasing Saliba. He's a player with great potential, and hopefully, we can get him in the bag in the bag, and. Um, even if we have to loan him out, he's a player who has some promise for future seasons. But I would also like to pursue an experienced defender, somebody who can start tipping the balance back in our favor. Uh, reducing the amount of goals that we're conceding every year. Uh, the last two years, we've conceded approximately 50 goals in the league. And that is not a recipe for getting into the top four. Also, outgoings need to be addressed. And I believe it's going to take all of the five weeks remaining to address some players leaving the club. Also, I understand we were trying to sell Mustafi to Fenerbahce for 25 million. Uh, a fee which just was too rich for Fenerbahce. Um, we're not in a position where we can uh, set the price too high to get rid of a player 
like uh, Mustafi. Um, this is the kind of transfer business that puts a bad taste in the mouth of many clubs. Um, we did the same thing with Celtic in our negotiations with Tierney. And uh, the club needs to get its act together more and more and start dealing uh, with uh, signings coming in. This is such a vital window for Arsenal Football Club. Um, the last two or three seasons have shown a decline. We've dropped out of the top four. Champions League football is not an automatic for us anymore. And we are definitely a Europa League club on the precipice of either going forward or backwards. And there are clubs behind us who are spending greater amounts of money than us. So we need to be efficient in our transfer dealings, get the players in and start moving in the right direction. Last season was a season of discovery for Unai Emery, a season of stabilizing, stabilizing the club and players, understanding who he had to work with and moving forward from there. The lessons must be learned from the players he used last season. Uh, we must be ruthless and let those players go, move them on, although it's become in the modern day more and more difficult to do so. Move those players on, get our targets in the door uh, so we can start setting in motion um, plans to get into the top four and being able to identify a style for the coach Unai Emery. He did not have a style last season. Um, my reasoning on that is that he did not have the type of players who could adapt to the formations that he wanted to do. These players need to be identified and get in the door and there's a few players that need to um, hit the exit door if you know what I mean. But this is what must happen. We need to arrest the uh, slide that has been in the last few seasons and we need to turn that around. We need to get into the top four. We need to um, stabilize our defense, uh, score maybe a few more goals by introducing a winger and uh, move forward. The club needs to move forward. We missed out on an opportunity several, several times last season. Um, the disappointment or criticism after the league campaign was not very, very loud because we had that one final chance in the Europa League final and the players, we must remember, the players let us down in that Europa League final and they, those are the players who must be moved on. We are in a situation where we have to cut our cloth accordingly um, and use our transfer funds wisely. Uh, this is something that has not happened over the last few years. We have allowed um, mismanagement of our transfer funds in terms of players in, um, spending too much for them coming in and not getting enough money for players going out. David Ospina, you know, he's gonna leave for four million and he is a full international. He's a Colombian international goalkeeper. And four million for David Ospina is ridiculous. Uh, Wojciech Chesney, will that go for 10 million? And now he's in the Juventus team. Um, Aaron Ramsey, he's gone to Juventus. He's now a Juventus player. Uh, these are lessons that we need to learn very, very quickly uh, if we are to compete for the top four again. Um, we are looking over our shoulder and I'm going to go out and s on a limb and say next season you will not see the top six teams finish in the top six. The traditional top six teams will not finish in the top six. There will be one or two teams that will drop out of the top six. I hope it's not us. It could be Manchester United, it could be Tottenham, it could be Chelsea. But uh, one of these teams like a Leicester... Wolverhampton Wanderers uh, will push up into the top six. It's going to be a difficult season next season. 
and we need to be acquitted for that. Um, we need to get our transfer business in order. Pretty soon, in the next uh, two weeks, we're going to be going on tour, and we do not want to have to do business and buy players and get them bedded in while we're on a preseason tour. That is just not the way that we should conduct our transfer business. But um, if you have liked this video, um, hit that subscriber button if you're new to the channel, sign up for the first team, and uh, stake your claim. Until next time, I'll talk to you soon.